Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget X, and today I'm going to show you how to browse your Mac's hard drive using your iPhone. Now, there's a lot of apps that'll do this kind of stuff for Android and Windows, but the selection for Apple devices isn't quite as great. But an app called Find It lets you easily browse files from your Mac right on your iPhone. And while it has cost $3.99 in the past, you can get it for free right now. So to get this one going, head to the App Store on your iOS device and search Find It, or use the link in Step 1 in my full tutorial. From here, just install the app, then open it up and grant any permissions it asks for. Once you've done that, there's a little bit of setup that you'll need to do on your Mac, so let's head over there. Now on your Mac, you'll just need to install the Find It server, which can be downloaded for free. I have this download page linked out in Step 2 in my full tutorial, so head over there for a quick start. Then, once you have the file saved to your device, go ahead and extract it with any zip manager. From here, open the folder that you extracted from the zip. Then drag the Find It icon from here over to your Applications folder. Next, just open your Applications folder and launch the Find It server app that you just installed. From here, the first thing you should do is take note of your computer's IP address. This is just a local address, which is because Find It will only work when both devices are connected to the same local network. From there, I'd recommend that you enable the Open It Login option so Find It is always available. Beyond that, you can change the folder that you'll be able to search on your iPhone by changing the second option from Desktop to Custom. When you do that, you'll see a file browser window. Just select any folder that you would like to be able to access from your iPhone, then click the Open button. When you're done with that, check that IP address again, then the rest of the work will be done on your iPhone. Now over here, just open the Find It app, then tap the Settings icon in the top right corner. Next, simply type the IP address from your Mac right into this top field. And when you're done with that, head back out to the main menu. At this point, you're all set up and ready to go. Whenever you're on the same local network as your Mac and you'd like to grab a file from your computer, just tap the Search field at the top of the main screen here, and then enter any file name or extension. It'll quickly search your Mac for any files that contain those keywords, and then you'll see them in this list. Then, if you want to view or download one of these files, just select it from the list. From here, you can tap the Preview button to view the file, or you can tap Options, then select Open In, and choose a compatible service to either save or share this file with. So it's a really handy way to get your iPhone and Mac to work together a little better, and it's completely free. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article on our new site at GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.